Hi everyone, so I am two weeks post-op, a reverse tummy tuck and a bra line back lift and I am almost five months post-op, a body lift. So yeah you guys, I had a lot of stuff done and I'm still not finished. I will, I have one more surgery coming up, I don't even want to know the date yet because I'm still trying to mentally get through this surgery. But I will be getting the skin removed off of my breasts and off of my arms. And then I will be done. That is my third and final surgery. I'm so grateful that my surgeon has agreed to do these surgeries, you guys. My body is looking so good. I walked past the mirror and I had on a sports bra and some yoga shorts. And I literally cried three tears. I counted them because I could not believe I couldn't believe that one of my biggest dreams it was so simple you guys and some people are like why was that one of your wishes or dreams but never in my life have I been able to wear a sports bra and some shorts and not have my stomach or my gut hanging and then after I lost weight it was my skin hanging so it's like I worked out so much and so hard I just wanted to be in a sports bra and shorts that was like one of my biggest dreams and to work out with shanti and if that happened y'all i'm done i'm i don't had all my dreams come true but i truly wanted that experience and when i walked past the mirror and i saw my body and i was like oh my gosh i look so fit you guys i was like i just stopped crying and it was happy tears it was definitely happy tears because i worked so hard and i was in so much pain through my workouts and i still pushed and i kept going and all of my hard work is now showing once my skin was removed me me my hard work and with the combination of my surgeon we're turning my body into something amazing and i am so grateful to have him um so as far as my physical update i am doing a lot better um since the last time i talked with you guys i was in so much misery and pain for about a week uh full seven days um it was just so painful my back was in so much pain um i don't think you're supposed to mess with your back because i have never felt pain like that before um, and around day eight, the pain went down to about 50%. So it was definitely manageable, but I'm still having trouble sleeping. I have to carry my pillow with me everywhere. Like in people car, they be like, girl, why you got your pillow? I need protection with my back. When people call me, I have to turn my whole body like, huh? You know, because the pressure of my neck turning puts pressure on my back. And it's so crazy because because my back has caused me so much pain i haven't even complained about the pain of the reverse tummy tuck and there is pain um right underneath my incision well right underneath my breast is my incision line and it goes all the way wrapped around my entire body and it's so sore and it was so hard to sleep because the incision was literally wrapped around is wrapped around my entire bus area and my back so i didn't i couldn't sleep on my side i couldn't sleep on my stomach because it put pressure on my breasts and my breasts are really tender and sore i couldn't sleep on my back you guys i was sitting up in a chair i was in the living room sitting on the couch oh it was so miserable that was the worst week of my life and i will do it over and over and over again even knowing the pain now that i see my results it was worth every misery um oh my goodness it was the results are amazing and i'm just two weeks post-op i was like i like today i'm like oh my gosh i look so good and not even on no conceit in this but like my body like it looks really amazing so i, I thought i was like 150 to 155 i stepped on the scale y'all I was 168. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I do not look 168 at all. Maybe my eyes is just so happy at my results that, you know, I don't see it. But 
I do not look 168. Um, and I know none of that is fat gain at all because I've been eating relatively well. I snuck and ate a brownie, but oh, come on, a little brownie, that wasn't bad at all. That did not make me gain 10 pounds since surgery. I know a lot of that is still fluid that needs to be flushed out of my body. Um, and the swelling, I have like right underneath my boobs my boobs are swollen my back is swollen <clears throat> my thighs are a little bit swollen and my booty is a little bit swollen i've been enjoying oh my goodness y'all been enjoying the swelling in my butt i don't want it to go away but it will <laughs> but um i put on 10 pounds of fluid and to be honest you guys i absolutely love my body like this i don't feel too thin I don't feel too big. Maybe some people decide to look. I look so fit. It's ridiculous. And oh my gosh. Just seeing myself in those shorts and that sports bra. I'm like, oh my goodness. I freaking killed this journey. And I never really acknowledged how amazing of a job I've done until I've, I just looked at my body. And I saw my muscles popping. I'm like... I did that like I cannot believe I did it and I'm still doing it. I'm still going strong like two weeks post up I'm back at walking that's all I can do I don't want to put any more pressure on my back so all I'm gonna do is walk for about you know for about a month until I feel I'm healed well enough to do anything because it's really painful still when I put too much pressure on my back or lift anything heavy so i did a walk yesterday i did a walk today and i'm gonna do a walk tomorrow it just feels so good to be back moving again instead of just sitting around because i can't lay um i can finally lay down but it's it's still painful to sleep um i'm not taking any medication so the pain like i say once the pain gets manageable y'all i'm not taking that medication i'm not gonna be no dope head i don't think so no and no so the pain is manageable, so I pack my pills away for my next surgery. I'm um, still on the same bottle from my body lift. I'm not going to be taking no 45 pills. I'm counting them. You know what I'm saying? I'm, no, no. I'm not taking all of those pills. So anyway, um, <laughs> y'all, I'm crazy. Um, I got my stitches taken. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I got my stitches removed on um, Friday. And I'm healing really well, but I do have a scar that is still oozing on my back, you guys. I, I do admit that I ex exchange my skin for my scars. And it's worth it because you can't see my scars at all whatsoever. Um, the only way you can see them is if I'm butt naked. You, you can't even see them when I'm in bra and panties, so... I absolutely love where he placed my scars and he told me that if I don't like the way my scars look he will go in and fix them so I don't you know what I'm cool like I'm like you know maybe I want to see what it look like a year from now or so but other than that I'm just going to do scar treatments and you know take care of my scars myself I don't want any more surgery at all unless it's necessary so I think that is pretty much it. Stay tuned. I have a weight loss challenge coming up really soon. And I'm so excited about that. And I will talk about it in another video. But until then, everybody be well. And I will see y'all soon. Bye, guys.